One month now, several homes have been broken into, and instead of removing items from the homes like normal burglars, these criminals deposit new items. You know, I come home to find a receipt saying my cell phone had been paid, and I was fine with it being off. Now I gotta deal with these bill collectors calling me for another month. And another thing, these hoodlums are a menace to society. Somebody needs to catch them and put a stop to this right now. Hello? Yeah, this is she. Uh-huh, the check's in the mail. You better wait for it. Oh, these hooligans are flat! But as if these activities aren't unusual enough, they have recently outdone themselves with unusual behavior. For tonight, they have turned themselves in to this Detroit Police Department after complaints of their activities began to surface. Because I work for the right people, I was granted the first official exclusive interview with the Reverse Burglars. Let's tune in. Hello, gentlemen. What up, Hello, though? I'd like to start off by saying that in all my years of professional journalism, I have interviewed a lot of people and a few very famous animals, but never have I been at a loss for words. I guess I'll begin with the obvious question on everyone's mind. Why? Yeah, man, why? Why they got us up in jail? Why we up in here? Well, you can ask me a question, whatever you want. Why is it every time a white man want to give something away, he a hero? People love him. Bitches fuck him. Right, right. Be all up on the news and shit. All over the news. But the second a black man decide he want to give something away, they want to throw a nigga in jail. Be all on the news, man. Well, in a recent poll by the regular American society, the tolerance rate for African American males has recently increased, I'll have you know. Obama. 
Obama. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And secondly, when the white man does decide to give away things, he usually succeeds in finding a means which doesn't involve breaking into people's homes. First off, don't hit me with that Obama shit. Mm -mm. Don't do that. I see what you're doing. HD. I see you. Secondly, we only did this to prove a point. You know, we try giving back to the poor. We even started our own foundation. Right. The Hustlers Depot. You know, it was a spot where young hustlers could come and discuss alternative money-making methods. You know, government funding. We even had veterans of the game teaching the classes for them, you know. Oh, jeez. Tutu. Ray Ray. Mookie. Mike Mike. Malvo. Majan. Anyway, after they graduated from the program, you know, we hooked them up with a reward, you know. We gave them laptops. Book bags, number one pencils. Man, we even had this spot on Seven Mile up the street from the, the uh... Over there by the, uh, the beauty supply and the car wash. You know, the gas station and the liquor store. Yeah. You know, man, and come Devil's Night, somebody set the building next to ours on fire. And the fire came to ours, and man. And it took us out the game, man. Just clean up, man. You crying? Hey, man. Some of my man. So sorry to hear that. I... I'm sure that everyone's thoughts and prayers go out to all of the rookie hustlers out there. Yeah, man. School, school! But anyway, couldn't you have at least knocked on these people's front door? Nah. What's that? Do Santa Claus knock on doors? Huh? Huh? White people love him, don't they? Shit. He be coming all down the chimney. Well, what about the items that you two have been putting into people's homes? I mean, there have been reports of classic books, including the Bible, Bob Marley albums, marijuana, and in one instance, a fridge full of groceries. Where do you guys find the money to buy these valuable goods? And what's the premise of your, once again, unusual gift selection? Where you get the money to buy this unusual ass tie. Unusual tie. Trust fund. Bridge car. You hear it? Layaway. Pension. Crack house. Huh? Huh? Man, I'm a rapper. Real hip hop. Hip hop. To the hip hip hop. Hey, man, don't hey, stop. Man, what's up, man? We jeans. We jeans. Right. Right. Anyway, man, I'm a street prophet. I spit from the heart. Left side. Man, I do this for my brothers in the streets. Dying. AIDS. AIDS. In the ass. In the ass. Go ahead, man. Man, I spit this for my sisters. Dying of foreclosure. Can't feed their children. Five kids, man. Raymond noodles. One pack. Two forks. One bowl. They ain't got no house. No. Nope. Where you live? Gated community yeah. in West Bloomfield. Gated community. What's a community? Just because I don't rap about how much money I got. How many people I done killed. I ain't never gonna get radio play. I ain't never gonna be on TV. That's all I see for my people in this land of opportunity. What, I can't say something good about my people? Anyway, do you, you mind if I ask who your partner in crime is here? Hell, you talk to me like that? This my nigga. Click, pack. Pack's about me. Wherever I go, he go. I be everywhere. You ain't nerd here. Well, okay. If you are this wealthy rapper, where's the proof? I mean, your assortment of tattooed body art, your big diamond necklace. I mean, everyone has those. Where's yours? It's about that time. Seven. There go your proof. Bling, bling. We're bringing your ass over to the this time, right? Well. There you have it. Two criminals from the street, finally off the street. 
And in the case that another African American comes up with another good idea, lock your doors, America. Reporting live, this is Chuck Serjenski. Have a safe evening. to take everything with us and we kind of sing this song if i never live again if i never live again let me die with what i have let me die with what i have let me die with what i hold let me die with what i hold let me die with what i grab let me die with what i grab let me die with what i see let me die with what i see let me die with who i am let me die with who i am let me die what i can